What's up guys, the True Red Dragon here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the SH Monster Arts, the very long-awaited Godzilla Resurgence, aka Shin Godzilla, aka Godzilla 2016, the Fourth Awakening version. Now what makes this one the Fourth Awakening version and not the other one, I don't fucking know, because both of them technically are, but, uh, you know, Japanese people are fucking weird, just look at their fucking pornos. Um, checking out the box here, you see it's got a fucking Photoshop picture of fucking Godzilla after he ate a fucking ghost pepper, and he's just belching out straight up heat, and, uh, yeah, it looks pretty sick. Um, I flipped the box around, but you know what? I don't care. I can't be fucked. Fuck you. Let's get on to the review, shall we? I think we shall. Alright, guys, so... Here he is, in all of his motherfucking glory, the one and only Shin Godzilla Awakening version. So, as you can see, he comes with a bunch of interchangeable parts that the last one did not have. Not only does he come with that, but he comes with a bunch of accessories. More accessories and effect parts than we've seen in a long while. Um, so, basically, let's get into what makes this guy different than the last release of Shin Godzilla. So, obviously, you can see, he's got a different head, he's got the split jaw, he's like, oh, uh, he's got the split jaw, he's got the eyes with the little lens cover thing on them for when he shoots his breath effect. Um, he also comes with a regular set of head pieces, being this, let's see if I can get that to focus, this bit right here. Come on, work with me. Help me to help you. So the alternate head here, he has, this head is the one that comes stuck on that body. You see it's got its eyeball there, and it's got its other eyeball there. They are both looking straight out. They're not googly. Um, I'm sure, well, looking at him straight on, he kind of looks from at both ends of his head like a fish, but that's accurate to the movie, so I'm not really going to complain there. Much better than looking like, you know, he got hit in the head by a fucking piano. So, I can live with that. And, of course, he comes with the bottom part of his jaw. The teeth are painted okay. Um, they're, they're definitely not terrible. Uh, they're a lot better than some of the ones that I've seen uh, from other people from their original release. So, I'm not really going to complain. If you look in the inside, it's really striking purple it's like a translucent purple plastic in the mouth on both heads and uh yeah it's pretty sick um might as well get into the accessories this is the tail bit that comes not on him originally the one that does come on him is this one right here which is like a different shade of like pinkish it's more like pinkish while that one's more purple um this one does not have the little hole where the beam effect can go into. That one does. Uh, but I will, since I have the original release, I'll just be displaying mine like this. And, you know, there's no reason for him to look the same, but one's purple and one's red. Okay, so let's move him out of the way and we'll just get to the accessories. He also comes with a Tamashi stand. As you can see right here, he comes with this tiny little bit. He comes actually with two of them. And it just makes the, I doubt you can even see it, but it makes the peg just a little bit smaller to fit the little laser effects, um, which are right here. He comes with two, obviously. This one with a more kind of thicker end is designed to go into the tail of Godzilla. Wow, this one is meant to go into his mouth or be posed in his mouth. Um, you could do both. You could put this one in his mouth if you wanted to, but you know it, that's what it's designed for. Um, it comes with this blast effect here, which is pretty freaking sweet. Um, so you can have that, and then it also comes with, if I can get it out of the box the fire effect 
which looks really cool. It's got shades of gray in there to make it look like smoke. It goes from like this red to orange to yellow, transparent plastic. Uh, it looks pretty freaking sweet with it like that. You can have Godzilla just like he was in the movie, just fucking belching out fucking fire like a fucking baller. It's pretty badass. So that's pretty much it for the accessories. Let's get into Godzilla himself. One thing I wanted to mention also is the mouth and head, <clears throat> you pop them off just by ball joints. You pop this off, you pop this off, and it's, it works just fine. Mine in particular, I had a bit of an issue because this little black plastic thing came off on the ball. So I had to kind of pry it off my own and stick it back in there. It's still fine. It's not really broken. Um, but just something to let you guys know and, you know, to be aware of. Okay, so now you can see the laser effects coming out of both ends. Like he's eating bad Thai food and he's just puking and shitting at the same time. But as you can see, it looks pretty fucking badass. The beam goes into its mouth. It is a little counterintuitive. It doesn't go straight in. You kind of have to angle it up towards the top of the tail here, up here, and it'll go in just fine. Uh, the Tamashi stand works great. Um, if you want the fire effect on there, take off the tiny bit and the regular Tamashi stand neck piece will go right into it. Um, that's pretty much it for that look. Let's take this out and we will go over some of the features that this one has. He has these amazing looking dorsal fins with translucent uh, purple plastic. The head is also a translucent purple plastic and if you get kind of close you can kind of see like it looks red right here but it's not paint, it's just kind of the fact that the light is shining through and showing that some people are probably going to hate it in person. It really doesn't look that bad. It looks fine. Um, <clears throat> the fingertips, one of the things that kind of bugged me when I first opened this up, I noticed that his claws looked really tiny compared to the last one. And looking at screenshots from the movie, uh, that's kind of screen accurate, so I really can't complain there. Um, the paint job on him is a lot more uh, accurate if you look at different parts of his body, if I don't hit the damn setup. He has the red bits kind of painted in the cracks, as they should have been in the first place. Um, now the purple is a little haphazard. They do just kind of sling it on there, but it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty good. It's right here on the thighs and on his chest here. Um, it's not bad. Uh, the teeth look good. The eyes, they fixed the eyes on the other one, at least on mine, so that's good. So a lot of the paint issues that we had in the original release are fixed in this version. So that's not bad at all. Um, what else can I say here? I'm not going to go over the articulation of this because the original is already out there. Plenty of people made reviews of that one. You can go ahead and check him out. Uh, check out whoever and see that review and see what articulation this bad boy has. Um, so that's pretty much it for what makes him different. As you can see, he comes with so many accessories. Um, is he worth the price? Probably not, but if you want this Godzilla, he's definitely the better of the two. Um, and speaking of which, let's go ahead and compare him to the first release. Okay, so here the two are. Uh, let's take a good look at them side by side. Uh, both pretty good figures. I mean, I know this one gets a lot of hate, but sculpt-wise, it is definitely spot on. And I got lucky on mine. He doesn't really have the red neck. His teeth are okay, and his eyes aren't googly. So I got lucky with mine. Uh, I know a lot of people weren't as fortunate. There are a few little spots on his body that are a little more red than I'd like, but overall, it's much better than a lot of the... Uh, Pretty much any of the reviewers I've seen who reviewed this bad boy, it, it looks pretty good and I can't complain that much, but I understand that there was a massive quality control issue with this guy. This guy on the other hand seems to be doing alright. Uh, they seem to ad have addressed a lot of the issues that were before. I haven't seen very many googly eyes or anything like that from other 
videos and pictures I've seen of him. So that's definitely good. And the paint looks a lot better as well throughout. Um, they're both the same mold, so obviously he's another big figure. Uh, I guess I can do a few comparisons to other figures in the line, and uh, then we'll wrap this bad boy up. So, let's get to it. Here, Shin is next to Gamera, one of an, another uh, SH Monster Arts figure that came with a lot of accessories. Very good figure. If you can find him for a good price, I definitely recommend him. And... Here he is next to the recent release of Burning Godzilla. And as you can see, he just absolutely towers over him. So, big figure. He's going to be as big as, like, say, Destroya or, like, uh, King Ghidorah. And he he's definitely a presence on the shelf. And the effects, everything he comes with is definitely makes him one of the nicer... Uh, releases to come out recently um, so yeah that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed this video and checking out this bad boy and uh, subscribe if you liked it and if you want to see more and be sure to thumbs up the video if you liked it well without any further ado thanks again guys see ya